Hi there, Coach H. Candy here with another installment of Training Talk Tuesdays where I answer your top voted question. This is episode number six. And first of all, I will thank you for all your well wishes. Feeling a lot better after a round of antibiotics. Knocked out that pneumonia. Still getting some checkup stuff. There will be more vlog info on that later. Uh, and some lifestyle factors that I said could have made it bacterial or fungal or viral. I don't know if I really got the COVID. Um, we'll see with the lung scans coming up, but that's my personal health. Let's get into your top voted question. You guys, there weren't very many comments last week, um, but really do appreciate them and I wanna keep this going. So comment below after this video uh, and vote for other ones for next Tuesday, uh, cause I will answer the one that got the thumbs up, the most thumbs up votes. And I believe this is the one from last week. This is the question, great question. Sage, uh, what are your thoughts on having two quality runs in a day? For example, a tempo in the morning and then repetitions uh, in the evening. So AM, PM sessions, two quality sessions. Also assuming that you've built up to this point and have the mileage uh, to support it. So first off to answer that question, I'd say for most people that's a bad idea. Um, usually I don't even have athletes run twice a day or I wouldn't run twice a day easy until I'm over about 70 miles per week or so. So uh, what is that in kilometers? 70 times 1.61, 112 kilometers per week. That's a rough estimate. We have some athletes double after 50 or 60 miles per week, but usually it's to get in higher mileage and usually that would be an easy run. Maybe you do an easy, easy 20, 30 minute shakeout jog before work in the morning and then you do your longer run in the evening or vice versa. Uh, but two quality sessions, two quality sessions is a tall order and it's asking a lot. It's a lot of risk for little reward. And let me explain that here. Um, you might as well just focus on one big quality session all at once, once a day, and then maybe do, do some weightlifting or to go into the weight room, make it a full blown hard workout day. But then after that, it's recover, recover, right? And then you, you wait till the next big workout day, be it a long run or a tempo focus. That being said, uh, in this example, you're given a threshold session in the morning, repetitions in the evening, you can mix those two systems up, so to speak, in a single workout. So you could go to the track and do a 20 minute tempo run at 80% effort, kind of a steady state effort after a warm up, of course. And then at the end, as finishers, you might do six times 200 meters or something quite a bit faster to get the legs used to moving really fast when they're tired. And so you're kind of working both systems. You're working your threshold, but then you're working your, your neuromuscular system and working on really good form when you're kind of tired but still really good form, neuromuscular stimulus, as well as spiking the heart rate really fast, um, doing 200 meter repeats. So that's a good example of a mix type of workout as Jack Daniels, the coach would say, I believe in his first edition of his book, uh, mix type of workout where you're hitting it hard and you're going hard, but you, don't, you wouldn't wanna rest in between and do one in the morning and then do one in the evening necessarily. That would be uh, too long of a rest in between. Most people don't have that luxury. But it's also could be very too stressful because uh, if you do a really hard session in the morning, rest, do a really hard session in the evening, it's kind of a disaster. It could lead to overtraining. Uh, it's a lot of skeletal muscular stress, double speed sessions in a day. Uh, it's a high risk for injury and the benefits I'd say are pretty limited. There are definitely benefits, but the injury risk is just too high for most people, for most people. And, you know, there are examples. I think someone had, had mentioned Jakob. Uh, I'm going to pronounce his last name wrong, Ingen, Ingenbritsen. I'm sorry, I can't say that right. It's actually the whole family is really good runners that do maybe two quality sessions in a day. Uh, the coach, Renato Canova, who's coached a lot of world-class marathon runners, has uh, in some of his training, he calls it a special block, uh, mainly marathon training, where athletes, really high-level marathon runners, we're talking about like sub-206, 205 types of marathon runners, do a special block where they do some workouts where they do some double hard workout days like 10 by a kilometer in the morning and then you know two times 8k in the afternoon all at threshold all faster than marathon race pace which for them is you know sub 305 per kilometer pace sub three minute per kilometer pace but uh you know it's a it's something that most people i don't think should ever do i've never done it uh the most rigorous thing that most people usually do is uh if you're an ultra runner, sometimes you do back-to-back -back medium length to long length long runs, maybe on a Saturday, Sunday, on a weekend. So you do back-to-back -back quality days. 
Um, you could do a, maybe a pure speed session if you're, uh, you know, maybe a younger whippersnapper or someone who's working on distances 5K and below where you do maybe an all-out sprint session in the morning and then in the afternoon you hit it back with some quality like uh, some sort of threshold or tempo run work. I would even go easier than that though. I'd do it more like what we call up-tempo or more like 80, 83% max heart rate, kind of a steady state steady type of run um and, and then you're doing pure speed in the morning so like you know 10 times eight seconds wind sprints basically with a full recovery and that's kind of two quality sessions working totally different systems right all out sprint speed versus uh more aerobic based stimulus so you know i could see that but again with the mileage base you got to be hitting really high mileage to support doing a lot of quality workouts close together just because of the skeletal muscular stress the impact stress uh, running a lot of speed too fast and that's the thing that injures most people is trying to work out too hard too fast running with bad form when you're really tired and doing two quality sessions in a day i in my opinion is not good Renato Canova with his, some of his athletes uh, have definitely done it. Some of those athletes have also been tied up in performance enhancing drugs. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, there was a, a system called uh, that a long time ago, uh, the Chinese had termed or someone had termed uh, crash training uh, for some of these Chinese distance runners um, back in the day, especially women that set like the, some of the old 10K world records, for example. And they would do really, really hard blocks where they're going hard two, three days in a row, multiple hard workouts all in a row. Um, whether or not some of those athletes may or may not have been on performance enhancing drugs, I don't know. Um, but if you were on performance enhancing drugs, it would be something that would be uh, probably more beneficial for you. So I am saying that, uh, but that's just because you could recover so much faster. That being said, someone's really resistant to injury, they've running super high mileage or super experience, maybe they could get away with it. Again, in my opinion though, for most people, the risk is not gonna be worth the reward. Most of you, unless you're running over 60, 70 miles a week, 100, 110 kilometers per week, it's probably not even worth it to run twice a day, uh, very many days in a week. Uh, when I, you're starting to run higher mileage, it becomes kind of a good idea to run twice a day or do two workouts a day, but usually those are easy runs. <laughs> usually it's a, it's a slow, easy day where you're trying to get in a lot of miles as efficiently as possible, as easy as possible. So uh, it's a great question. And like I said in my other video last week, you could stack a, a nice high intensity uh, hip type of workout or strength training, weight training, body weight training type of workout right after a hard running workout and have that be a full full on quality type of day. We call it a workout day because you're, you're really going hard basically all day and you know you, you run hard, maybe you go to the gym later. So it's kind of like a double day, but you're not running two hard sessions in a day. And it does depend on the exact speed and the number of repetitions and the, di the total distance that you're covering, of course, as well. But like I said, you might as well do go all in and do one big workout all at once. You can mix speed within the workout and just try to get it all done at once. It's usually more time efficient as well. The only real benefit with a lot of doubling is you could kind of get a double metabolism boost throughout the day. Um, so it could kind of help boost your metabolism when you run twice a day. But that being said, for most people, again, it's, it's too much of an injury risk with the impact and the overtraining risk, uh, the impact force and the overtraining risk. So probably not worth it uh, in my opinion. So it's a great question. Feel free to comment below with tr uh, next week's training talk talk, next week's training talk Tuesday topic. Ooh, it's a tongue twister. And vote up comments that you like. You could vote for your own comment. I'd like to see what you guys uh, come up with. I'd also like to see how you guys are doing. Thanks so much to title sponsor Hoka One One. Keeping the dream alive. Got more vlog updates coming your way. Feeling a lot better. Trying to ramp things up. Uh, I got some special stuff on the way for you guys. Thanks to the Patreon supporters for really making this channel possible. Hope you're doing well. And stay tuned for more VO2 Max Productions.